What's going on guys? It's your boy the Iguana Man. We're back at you guys with another video. Right now we are on our way to Homestead, Florida. As known as the land of the Everglades, the swamps, the pythons, the tegus. First time out here, I guess you could call me a greenhorn. Nonetheless guys, I am ready to explore, get my feet wet, and learn as much as I can. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, please subscribe, hit the bell notification on, never miss another post. Anyways guys, we got a long drive to go to Homestead. Hopefully we learn some things and hopefully we can catch some more invasive species. A special guest in the building. What's your name, bud? Pedro. Guys, Pedro is gonna be our assistant on today's mission. So our good buddy Pedro directed us to a spot where he says he's seen what he thought were tegus. Upon further investigation, we realized these creatures were in fact spiny-tailed iguanas. There he is. Try and get the shoe. Oh my god. Go ahead, bite this. Bite this. Bite this. Bite this. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Just hold him tight. Good job, bro. There, right? Yeah. No, right there, right there, right there, right there. Because he's big. He's big. He's getting tired right now. Hold on. Give him. Oh my god. Ugh, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Iguanas in the bag. Yes, <laughs> oh, he was pissed. Look at that. You saw how he attacked my shoe, dog? Like, he's still growing. Well, he's a, he's a sub adult. Got to watch out. We got a very short snare. He's got a very quick, powerful bite. Don't want to be on the business end of him. Let's see if we can just get him off real quick. There he is. Look at that. That is stunning right there, you guys. You guys can tell he's a male because he has this big mohawk right here. It's very impressive. And what they'll do is they'll actually use this to help attract other females, guys. Mm -hmm. Just like male iguanas, these things are invasive species introduced over here via the pet trade. And they breed like crazy, guys. We're over here at a golf course and these dinosaurs are roaming everywhere. You guys seen him? He was on top of this hill. He claimed territory. He saw Elias. He was not. You got any holes in there? Yeah, there's probably, there's, who knows, bro. They're probably out here trying to figure out new places to nest. But an absolute killer species. Look at the coloration. And you can see he's got little hues of orange and crimson in there, along with the black and the gray. Those are breeding colors of this species, guys. This iguana is a very prized possession. They go for a lot of money in the pet trade. We're doing removal here, guys. All these iguanas will be up for adoption if you guys want to adopt one, all right? But I warn you, this is a very advanced reptile to take care of. This is not your typical green iguana. This thing can really put a hurting on you. If he gets a hold of you guys, could be a trip to the ER. <laughs> Nonetheless, we got him in the bag. Yes, sir. The Everglades was loaded with these things. It didn't take us Another long one? to find our second spiny tail. Three for three, y'all. Just hold him, let him get tired. Oh, that's a beauty right there. Beauty right there. Let me go for the land. Although small, these things can land a powerful bite and they have short fuses. Approach and handle with caution. Hey. Money. <laughs> Yes, sir. Ski. Teaching these spiny tailed iguanas. Super fat lesson, y'all. Yes, sir. Ski. Look at this thing, guys. It's not a lizard you want to mess with, guys. You guys <laughs> gotta definitely show a lot of respect and caution dealing with these guys in there. Don't mess around with these. <laughs> at all. Hey. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh yes, sir. Got his brother in there. Cashing out, y'all, on the spiny tailed iguanas. Bro, you are a natural. Wow, dude. Absolutely ridiculous. And by the way, guys, they call them spiny tails because look, check out the tail. Super spiky. Dude, this is amazing, Elias. We're snapping. We're doing, we're doing super good, bro. From baby to basically adult ray. When spiny tail iguanas hatch, they're bright green, just like the green iguanas. As they mature, the green fades, the spikes come out, along with the attitude and the gray camouflage. This iguana is known as the fastest lizard on earth. Although aggressive and feisty when freshly wild caught, 
They do tame down well and they can make excellent pets as long as you have the right environment and habitat to put them in. These highly intelligent lizards love to eat greens and small insects. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Whoa. It's attacking a female. Dude, look how it moves, bro. It moves so quick. It's like low to the ground. And it's super fast. Oh my God. Dude, we need to get the pole, bro. We know we where he's nesting. To. Yeah, we know where he's nesting. Yup. Holy crap. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is oh my crazy. Gosh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? All right. Oh, he, oh, no. That lizard that you guys seen is the African red-headed agama. Another invasive species. The males are super vibrant in color, but super smart. We ended up getting a female right here. Species that we've been looking after, guys. But this is the female version of it right here. Oh, my goodness. She is not happy. Let's see if we can grab her. Look at this thing. It kind of looks like a bearded dragon. Hold on. There she is. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> There we have it, guys. Finally, there we have it, guys. This is the female red agama. As you guys can see, she is not as beautiful as the male, though. You know, she's very, look at the colors of her. Very bland, very natural looking. Doesn't have that bright red head or that blue tail. But nonetheless, a very interesting lizard. And these lizards are only found here in Homestead, guys. We don't have these in Broward. Just to put in perspective how gorgeous this lizard absolutely is. Look at the colors of her. Got that brown head. She's got that indigo purple arm going along to some nice multicolor scales on the backside. A very beautiful lizard. Look, oh wow, look underneath her. She's got some lines as well. Gorgeous specimen. All right, y'all, we just seen two iguanas come out of the bush. There's a green one, there's a red one. Out here in Homestead, apparently there are red and blue iguanas out here. Wow. Green one real quick. There he is. Oh, oh there, buddy. Nice. That red one, it was just like this, but it was all red. It was crazy. See that? Somebody shot this iguana with a BB. Damn. See it right there? Look. Yeah. It's crazy. Here you go, bud. Let's see if we can get that Wait. red one. Just threw some little chips in there. Look at all these fish. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of them coming out. Yeah. You're in line, man. Oh, wow. Oh, look at all the catfish. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. Dude, they just came out of that nest. Holy crap. No way, dude. Oh my gosh. That is insane right there, my friend. Do you like them? Yeah, that's good. Catch them? I just throw some. Walking cats, you see how they're walking? Yeah, yeah. One of those catfish stabbed me, dude. Damn, bro, you all right, bro? I think he hit a vein, bro. Ah, all right, we gotta clean this out ASAP. Dang, that thing hurts, bro. A catfish stabbed me, dude. It's right in my hand. I know he catched it. You were trying to take it out, and it yeah, just oh, he just went boop. Oh, uh, look, this is the catfish that pricked me. It's not his fault, guys. He was just uh, basically protecting himself. He didn't know what I was doing, but he after I got the hook out, he just stuck. Yeah, he went, yeah, he went deep, bro. He went probably about like half inch deep here. You can throw him back, bro. It's okay. It's not his fault. Throw him back in the water, bro. Let him live. There he goes. Whoa, that thing hurts, bro. I could feel it all in my palm, bro. It got me right there. Like, it just stuck and then stuck out, bro. That's crazy. 
And then, uh, hey, hey, you can help. You mind helping me clean this up, bro? Yeah. All right, we got a first aid kit, guys. We always traveling with first aid kits out here, especially when we on tour. Cause you never know when a something like this is gonna happen. But it's starting to feel a little lightheaded. We got Pedro in the building. He's gonna go ahead and help me out. Ouch. <laughs> You see, there's a vein right there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. you hit the vein. So that venom is probably going all through my hand right now. We're gonna leave some pressure on there for them. An insect sting relief packet right here. Are you using? I don't know. It's. I mean, it's, it's. It's not an insect sting, but it is a sting. So maybe it might offer some relief. But it's got pain painkiller in there as well get that into that wound damn my whole, this whole thing feels numb right here bro honestly this feels numb but the the, the i feel it right here in my wrist and right here in the, in the palm of my hand made it home in one piece took a nice hot shower and the good news is the swelling and the pain has gone away guys it was pretty crazy going out there we learned a lot of things um obviously you got to be really careful there's things out there that I'm not used to seeing or handling, so I definitely need to be more on my guard. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe if you're new, put the bell notification. I'm about to get some rest. Probably crash out here for a little bit. It's the Iguana Man signing out. Until next time, keep on catching.